Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a gecko um, paracord, paracord vine. So first, you cut a really, really long piece of paracord. It does fray at the end, so when you cut it, you're going to want to cut it. And then you're going to want to melt it. Just the ends. And careful, that can get really hot. Okay, so then what I use is a D-ring. You could also use an O-ring, doesn't really matter. And you're going to hold these two ends while you find the back end. Okay. Here's this end, and then here's the easier. Do it's a bit easier. Put the round end through, and then grab your two ends like this, and then pull it through. Be sure you keep those pieces together. You don't want one side longer than the other. If that makes sense. Okay. Perfect. And then you have this. What we'll do is now we're going to measure the length we want. Okay. So, depending on the size of your terrarium, um, this will alter it, but you're going to take another D ring and pull it through. And now you are basically just going to decide what, how long you want it. So, you know, measure up against your terrarium, whatever. I want mine this long. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it. Hold it still where I wanted it. Then we're gonna grab one end, put it here, and then this other end, we're gonna put here, and then we're just going to pull it through. These ends are gonna be very, very long, but we need them to be long, because I think it has to be like double the length um, for this to work. Okay, and then pull that tight. All right, and now you're going to take the opposite end and do the same thing, but in reverse. And pull it through. And then pull it tight. And then you're going to do the same thing. This way. And under. All right. And then push it up. And then the same thing. This way. This way and under. And then there you go. Same thing. This way, this way, and under. And then just gonna keep doing this until you reach the end of your cord. Okay, so I finished my Paracord. So here's the end, and then of course you're going to have these two strings attached. So what you're going to need is your scissors again and your lighter. And you're kind of going to want to work fast here because of how paracord is. So what I'm going to do is cut so I have a little bit left, just enough that I'll be able to fold it over, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to grab my lighter and then i'm going to melt it and i'm going to melt it more than i think i need until it looks kind of goopy like that and then i'm going to fold it you burn it you're going to press that down and then as you can see it flattens and i did the same thing on the other side so they are now folded and then the last part you're going to take your little paracord vine and you're going to take two suction cups and then two zip ties. You can buy these kits. They're called like aquarium suction cups, um, but it works just as well for terrarium. You can also use uh, hook suction cups, but they cost a little bit more and these work just as well. So you're going to slide this in and then you're going to slip it around the D-ring and then you are just going to pull it through. And Bring it to the end and then I like to keep the hard part towards the end of the suction cup 
Mm. And then you're gonna cut off the excess. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Same thing. And then you're pulling it. And then same dealio, I like to keep the suction cup part. Oh, my little like zip tied closure closest to the suction cup. And I'll tell you why in one second. Okay. Perfect. And then the reason why you want this part of the suction cup close or zip tie is because this is sharp. So you're either going to want to file this little piece or what I do is I'll put a dab of hot glue and just cover it so it's not sharp and doesn't risk scratching my gecko. All right. So it is done. Two suction cups. And here's kind of how they look like inside. This is my chameleon gecko. Oops. And then this is my crested gecko. You can see her right here. Hi, baby. So yeah, pretty easy.